Hey, hello guys. Sorry, we have been working on getting things running here. Um, Twitch was just not showing the live chat half the time, and then it wasn't showing whether I was live, and it was just all failing, because Twitch is awful! Um, sorry. You know, yeah, I've tried, I've done things on YouTube before, and they seem to be more reliable, but I figured I'm gonna plug in the Interstellar Quest and see what happens if I do it live, because there is much potentiality for things to explode and things like that. So, hey, that should be fun, right? So I'm not drinking beer because I'm a little bit sick, but um, otherwise I think I'm going to be okay here. I hope my voice doesn't sound awful. So yes, uh, this is several episodes ahead of where we are. I've literally just uploaded an episode where I fly back a space plane from the moon, which has lost its tail plane and therefore has no yaw control. I have inserted... I've begun ins uh, in insertion? I have begun insertion into Duna orbit, which means we've gone through the aero braking, which was surprisingly easy. You know, after all that, like, terrifying, you know, is this thing going to fall apart? It was as stable as a rock. It flew straight through the atmosphere. Um, we have a mission that is now headed towards EVE, although I think I might have forgotten to put a magnetometer on it. So I might have to send a spacecraft after it with a magnetometer. And uh, yeah, so we're we're currently trying to get ourselves into an orbit around uh, Duna, and hopefully, awesome stuff will happen. And that is how long it takes to load all the mods for Interstellar Quest. Ah, <sighs> so I need to do edit this to be saying it's playing Kerbal Space Program Interstellar Quest live live. Live. Done. Yeah, you know what? Uh, it was actually very easy to fly the spacecraft through its uh, uh, its aerobraking maneuver because I pumped all the fuel to the front and it was completely stable. Uh, I used science and science worked. Okay, where are we? Warp. It is warp mode. Let's take a look at what's actually going on today. And uh, has the title changed for N1? Because I did edit the title, but apparently it hasn't done anything. It says Interstellar Quest Live. And, oh, there, it's now changed. Ah, uh, Okay, so let's take a look at the situation. Oh, episode 39 just finished uploading, but uh, it's going to have to do like YouTube processing and things like that. So let's show what we've got. We have the Duna Express orbiting Kerbin. That's not right. Uh, <laughs> wait a second. This doesn't look like... Wait, wait, what? This is not... This is not my beautiful life. This is not my... Be wait, wait a second. Mole. Where is my EVE spacecraft? I'm confused. Jewel probe is going there. Uh, Moho lander is going. Wait, what? Wait a second. Have I? Uh, well, hold on. I might not have started the correct one. You know what? Yes. Pardon me. I've just realised that I started the wrong build. Ah, uh, yeah. That's the point two two release. Um, just let me fix this. I'm gonna have to start it up again. And that is going to take a while, because we have to do this. Uh, this is what happens when you have multiple installs that you have to manage. And also, my screen recorder will probably get really confused, because I'm running multiple copies of Kerbal Space Program now. Okay, so that's the new one. New one. I'm currently working on a ground-based remote tech, too. Okay, so we'll just let that load and see if it's smart enough. Let me know if it's smart enough to figure out. Yes, so we get to watch the loading again. Woohoo! You spawn nukes in Just Cause 2 and ride them. I actually play Just Cause 2. Actually, I am really looking for suggestions for what to play because I really kind of like doing the playthrough of Starflight. Pardon me, I'm just trying to adjust this camera a little so it will perhaps get me a little... Incidentally, yeah, whacked my forehead on something. There was a big cut up there. I was telling people I was doing a Harry Potter costume, but really it was just because I was being stupid. Uh, it happens. 
I uh, yes, my efficient haircut is very very useful at times. Oh. So do you th I guess I should probably make an announcement on Twitter like, hey, I'm doing stuff live. Although you know what, my wife could turn up at any moment. Uh, could maybe maybe uh, hold on? Can I share share on tweet? Interstellar Quest live tweet. Okay, there we go. That's it. I can just click that button instead of actually going to Twitter. I it, I I did fix the game. Morning start. I fixed the game. It's just Twitch being stupid. Look, watch this. I'm gonna move over so you can see and it, see it says playing Kerbal Space Program. So that is. That is Twitch being stupid, right? Twitch has been just broken all morning for me. Like, it keeps on not showing the chat, not showing the video. I have no idea whether it's working. Uh, you know what? I have 200k viewers on YouTube, and uh, yeah, I rarely stream. And it's mostly because I can't arrange to do a regular stream. So, now we're live. Now we're live. Now we can go and see the Duna Express and everything in all its glory. Go to the warp. Now, 59 flights. Hello, Scott. Hello, Andrew Scott. Ninety-five is ninety-five when you were born. That would make you like nineteen years old or younger, even. Let's take a look at everything. So yeah, we've got a a Duna Express encounter in three hours. Uh, well, we've got a few things going on. So look, this is what we have. We have oh the Eve Explorer. Let's take a look at this while uh, we've got a little bit of time. Eve Explorer is... Oh, you're overjoyed for posting one of the most visited threads for our space-based DF9 suggestions on... I'm very... Okay, that's interesting. Oh, okay. Have you been looking at the Amnesia Fortnite stuff right now? They posted all these um, game ideas. So this is my spacecraft that's going to Eve, just in case you're wondering. It's a... Uh, Basically, three nuclear-powered engines. It has enough habitation space for um, ten Kerbals, but it only has a crew of three. So, it should, you know, keep. It should uh, make them. Should support them. What I want to do, actually, and this is going to be hard, is I need to see whether I remember to bring. Uh, I did not. I don't think I brought a magnetometer because I have this spacecraft, and this was designed for landing, so it doesn't have a magnetometer. That's great. <laughs> and I don't see one here. I don't see one there. So I am going to have to send a spacecraft chasing this and attach a magnetometer onto the side. Isn't that funny? Uh, yes. Because these probes, those are going to drop into Eve's atmosphere and one will hopefully land in the ocean, one on land. They don't need magnetometers because magnetometers only work in space. So... I'm going to have to send a mission after this beautiful spacecraft and protect it, or, uh, sorry, return, add a thingy to it, add a, a magnetometer. Okay, well, it should, it should, no, I'm kind of not that great myself. I'm really just hoping that I can deliver something cool to you. Falcon is six days away from its sphere of influence change. That's going to be good. But jump to ship the Duna Express. This is this is the one that everybody's concerned about. As it said, it successfully aerobraked through the atmosphere by a, a technique of pumping all the fuel forwards, and we're in a highly eccentric orbit. And I guess what I'm going to have to do is somehow figure out how to put this thing into a more stable orbit. I want to do a flyby of Ike before I actually land. I don't want to land because. The lander is kind of in the middle of my spacecraft due to being designed by a complete numpty. There we go. We'll move the servos over here. The servos are working again. There's the Duna Express. Beautiful spacecraft that it is. Yeah, I want solar panels that work with Interstellar Mod because Interstellar Mod doesn't quite work properly. And it's very frustrating that it doesn't really properly work. Okay, so... First things first, I need to start pumping this fuel backwards. Uh, because we want to move the center of mass backwards. I, unfortunately, I only have um, a kind of cola. It's soda stream cola, which means it's not the same as Coca-Cola. But on the upside, it is made with real sugar rather than high fructose corn syrup, which is a huge advantage. 
Mm. I also have a cup of tea. You prefer wine and baguette, yes. Ah, this takes far too long, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, time ex- Oh, that's great. Time acceleration breaks transfers. What? Are you kidding? You know what? I have to drive down to Palo Alto today, so therefore I'm not going to be drinking beforehand. That's just the case. Soda streams are also... And they really only just coming to America. Um, they actually had a Super Bowl commercial with uh, Scarlett Johansson, which is kind of cute, I guess. Ah... Uh, Okay, now let me go here. Speaking of Scarlett Johansson, has anyone seen that movie Her? About, you know, um, computerized assistants and all that. That's kind of cute. Okay, let's transfer... Where's my fuel? Let's transfer this fuel back. Out of here. You hate, I hate win. Uh, have I seen Gravity? Yes, everybody's seen Gravity. Who hasn't seen Gravity? Anybody here that hasn't seen Gravity, please put your hands up. Because you're in... I don't know, you're in the wrong channel. The Super Bowl was a terrible Super Bowl. There was some good commercials, though. Uh, especially liked laughing at the Transformers commercial. Because uh, it had Optimus Prime riding, well, what, what I called a, a dragon. But then people pointed out, no, it's obviously Grimlock, right? Uh, either way, they're clearly giving up the whole notion of robots in disguise when you have a giant robot riding an even larger robot dragon. That's hardly disguise. And even if it transforms, what, what does Grimlock transform into? He transforms into a dinosaur. And I know if I see a dinosaur walking down the street... It's, it doesn't catch my eye. It's totally incognito dinosaur walking down the street next to an 18-wheeler. I mean, yeah, robots in disguise, huh? Uh, <laughs> oh, you're currently watching Farscape. Pardon me, I get a little bit of sniffy nose here. And I don't want to be, be sneezing all over the place. Yeah, Gravity are nominated for 10 Oscars. It'll probably get the the technical stuff. Okay, so we've got fuel in there, fuel in there. So now... Let's actually figure out. So we need to trim this orbit here, right? Here is the max at the furthest point. And what I really want to do... Okay. I want to kind of get an encounter with Ike. So there's got to be a way to do this. I should probably make an adjustment. Set as target. Set as target. Set as target! Come on. So I want to do the encounter... And then there I'll make... Okay, so this is a 6 meters per second burn. That's great. And then I'll make another burn there. And that'll put me into the same plate, uh, plane. Okay, so this is where it gets fun. You see, this spacecraft turns horrifically slowly. I think the term horrifically slowly is an understatement. So um, does anybody have some short stories they'd like to tell while rotating this? Because a uh, short, like War and Peace, maybe? Because... Just just watch this thing wobble as it rotates. It'd be nice to be able to place some hull cameras on it, huh? No Shia LaBeouf. I don't mind Shia LaBeouf. I, I don't know why people are, you know, down on him. I think he's okay. I don't think he's amazing, but uh, he's 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 actually a kind of a, a nerd, if you ask me. And I, I like that. I, I saw him doing like a... I think it was Prada. They did a, a clothing line. And it was a steampunk clothing line, and they had like Gary, it was like Gary Oldman, and I can't remember. But it was like, wow, he, he was in there. He looked awesome, and I totally wanted his outfit. It set as target will uh, give you all the navigation cues for the for the object. I'm not going to use RCS because I don't want this thing to shake apart. A bad date. Um, no, but in Indiana Jones, speaking of Shia LaBeouf, they had bad dates. Remember, they used them to uh, poison, they tried to poison Indiana Jones in, when he was in Cairo with bad dates. But the monkey got them instead. Uh, what's inside the fairings? Whoa, it's this. And actually, I need to, I need to put a parachute right there because I really made a stupid mistake. I forgot to put a parachute on this vehicle. I need to find a place to put a parachute so that it doesn't... Otherwise, I'm going to be landing on Duna without any parachutes. Maybe I could stick a parachute there. 
Yeah, this is why there's four, so much four times time acceleration, because this thing will wobble like anything if I try to turn it, right? Kerbal Space Program is a game of... It's, it's, like a, it's like flying. I mean, it really is like flying. It's like, you know, short moments of complete and utter terror with hours and hours of nothing happening in between. Yeah, there we go. Look, it is actually turning. Can we see Duna down there somewhere? There it is. Duna, 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 Duna. I mean, yeah, I've been watching, like, re I have been reading the comments. Everybody's been asking, when are we getting to Duna? When are we getting to Duna? Duna, 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 Duna. Duna, 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 Batman. Yeah, that's terrible. Yes. You, guys, most of you probably never saw the cartoon, so it didn't really work. <laughs> Duna, 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 Batman. 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 What's even more bizarre is that this thing will actually stop turning quite often because of its own oscillations. <laughs> so the the joint reinforcement doesn't actually help us with the with the strength of the docking ports. I'm not going to get out and push. It's just... It'll shake itself apart. So I'm just... I'm just tapping the button. And here's the thing. I'm... I'm I am building up some momentum here, right? But... <laughs> no, we're not there yet. We're about... We're about halfway there. What, why is there Lego the movie but no KSP the movie? I think KSP the movie is Nassau and his awesome videos. Incidentally, I think he may be joining me on Tuesday night to talk about his awesome videos and everything. Do any of you actually watch, like, the live streams where it's just me and friends talking about science and Ker Kerbal Space Program and stuff? Anybody watch those? We had some real scientists on. Space Engineers has multiplayer! Woohoo! Does it have guns yet? I kind of, like, it's, I think I started playing uh, Space Engineers too early. And I found it horrifically boring because there was nothing to do. I'm thinking that it's probably time to go back to it. Yeah, Batman from back then is something special. Look at this! It's actually rotating! <laughs> this is this is why I had to make move all the f uh, fuel forward so that it was stable under under drag situations. Look, we're almost there! I would come, but it does. What is it? it comes on at like 12.30. It comes on at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, right? Which is midnight in the East Coast. And I think that means it's about 5 a.m. in the UK or 6 a.m. in Europe. Unfortunately, that is really the only time I can get. If, if I'm going to do something live, that's when it has to be. Okay, you know what? This thing has too much momentum. If I try to stop this rotating, it will just snap. So, we're going to have to do this. And I've just realized I'm supposed to be recording this live, right? So, here we go. It's gonna, 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 stop. And there we go. Okay. And I've just realized that I should probably be recording this as well. So, I'm just going to hit record and make sure that Bandicam is running. It is recording. Okay. And hopefully this doesn't actually crash it by having two things recording it at once, because that could be a problem. So it says two hours before my burn, so let's time accelerate now. Does this space thing have a mating call? Uh-oh, are we getting into the Rule 34 thing again? Because that is just not where we're going. Time accelerate. Two hours, 34 minutes. And Kitty is around here looking for stuff now. So as I said, we're just trying to put this flat so we can get that uh, adjust our orbit. And then, you know, the, the annoying thing is we're going to have to do this rotation and then we're going to have to rotate to point the opposite direction. Oh, shoot. And you know what else I forgot to do? I forgot to make... Ah, shoot, shoot, shoot. Hold on. I just realized I need to do something here. 
Uh, I need to adjust my Duna Periaps, so I need to actually go a little faster here. Duna Periaps. Uh, people keep saying, by the way, did you know you can click on those nodes? And like every single video, they see me doing this. You know what? Have you tried clicking on these nodes? You end up with like all sorts of crap. You end up with like maneuver and things like that. Or, or you end up with two things like that, right? It is generally more reliable to just work around it. Okay, now I don't know what I've got. It says 36. Is that the one we're going with? I think 36 is a good altitude. Okay, so now I've adjusted my orbit just a little. 28 minutes till I, till I get to my uh, burn point. Uh, similar, I think the solution is heavier rovers with a wider wheelbase. Why? I agree! And I don't know if you can hear in the background, that is the washing machine upstairs, which will probably one day fall down dramatically during a video. It would be pretty epic, I've got to say. If I got that like live, then it would be a huge hit on YouTube. I, I would not understand. Oh, yeah, Jammer Pilot, uh, have you heard of autoerotic asphyxiation? There. Rule 34 and related to the oxygen. Yeah, you guys probably shouldn't hear that if you're, like, not over 18 or whatever. In fact, you should probably not hear that ever. Seriously, don't do it. You can mock people that have done it, but it happens from time to time. Okay, three, two, one. No war is good for business. And time warp. Are we going to get it? Okay, here we go. So now I gotta adjust my pointing just a little. And this is where it gets hard again. Come on. Oh shoot, you know what? I just hope I've I've real I'm I am pointing the right way, am I? Let's just make sure. Control from here. Oh that's good. I was worried that I might have been pointing the right way, right? Yeah, you do not want to get involved in that, and this is what I'm saying, right? No, you just don't, seriously, just leave it, leave it, leave it. We do not get into Rule 34 here, in any format. Uh, especially me, with my young audience. Look at this thing wobbling like a wobbly thing. Come on, I need some metaphors. Who has some wobbly things that they want to talk about? Oh. There we go. Ah, there we go. Excellent. Okay, let's fire up these engines just a touch. R stabilizing physics load. Oh my god. There we go. What? Um. No, I couldn't make a video of Mech Warrior Online because I'm not really qualified to talk about it. Except, I'm not really qualified to talk about it. I mostly just mock it. I keep... Oh, Mech Warrior Online? What? Wait a sec, what are we talking about? Rule 34 was just like a, a joke that got out of hand. I'm gonna try... Pointing my rocket along this here. Oh, no, 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 no. Trying to point my rockets exactly along this blue thing, and it is not wanting to do that. Come on, get on there. <sighs> not good. Galloping Gertie is a wobbly. Was that a code name? Is that like, you know, you're in Eastern Europe and you sit down next to a guy on the this park bench with your paper and you say, Galloping Gertie is a wallopy, is a wobbly. I hear, <laughs> I hear the food in, I hear the lobster in Murmansk is excellent this time of year. You just don't, let seriously, just forget about it. Whoa, look at the spacecraft rumbling! Look at that thing, it is not good. <laughs> This is just epically horrible, the way this moves. Rule 35, if no dubstep is found of it, it will be made. I kind of like that one, actually. The... 
Okay. I'm gonna increase my thrust just a little. Perhaps that will arrest the wobbles. Oh, my periaps is rising. That's a good sign. Because we want our periaps to be high enough that we can... Uh, that we don't destroy our spacecraft on aero braking. Glory to Asotska. Glory to Arstotska. Yes, this is the Arstotskan space program. Have people been watching the Olympics? Anyone? I thought the opening ceremony was pretty terrible compared to the awesomeness of the British opening ceremony. But the British opening ceremony did have Underworld and Danny Boyle producing it, so... Um, it's hard to compete with something of that mag some awesomeness of that magnitude. One, two, one meter per second. Eight. How close are we? I think that's that's probably as pretty close to where we want to be. So let's kill this. Oh, there, descending node is pretty much where we want it to be now. Now we want to do the reverse. We want to kill our our descending nodes that we more or less line up with the... Oh, we have an encounter with Ike, right? Eek, Ike, Ike, Eek, Ike! Add maneuver. I'm just going to do it more or less right at Ike's orbit. 5.8... 2.7... 2.0... It's going to be a 25m per second burn. You think I can spare that amount of fuel? 1.7 meters per second. 0 0.1. Uh, 0.2. 0.1. 30 meters per second. Okay, I think I can do that. It's just a question of pointing the right direction. I betrayed Isaac. Yes, I did. You know what? I I was play. I was role playing. I was role playing as somebody that had. Decided at the last minute he was uncomfortable and decided to give up. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, I have this vision of Putin like going all Taekwondo on that last ring. Uh, you know, Putin is like, he's like a black belt in Aikido or something. He's he's not just a black belt, but he's, he's a better black belt than um, Chuck Norris. Which, and we're rotating again, yes. Let's uh, try and rotate this, see how fast... Oh, oh, look, look. Oh, dear. No, look. Oh, no. I lost my fairings. I lost my fairings. That is so not cool. What the deuce? I lost my spacecraft. No. No. Oh, man! That is so not cool! Um, shoot. So much for time acceleration. Okay, so he's gonna have to get out there or something. Uh, I'm, I guess, I, actually, I can switch control to this thing and press T, and it should at least arrest its rotation, but unfortunately... No, it's it's lost everything on it, huh? Doesn't have a probe attached or something? I thought it had a probe body attached to it. Oh, it's that thing there. That one stopped. Okay. Stop. And it... That should have some sort of autonomous control attached to it as well. Ah, oh, crikey. That is not what I wanted to have happen. No, I didn't save it! I didn't, you want me to go back and do all those turns again? <laughs> I, I I think at this point is where I, I gotta make sure I, I didn't I'm not sure when I quick saved. Um I might I might make it a simulation. But uh yeah wh where's my quick save file actually? I'm just gonna go back into my saves and just make sure that I have uh, enough saves here. <laughs> uh I have pre okay. I'm going to save my persistent, um, copy that. Pardon me. 
This thing is rotate is being the rotation is being slowed down by a tiny space probe. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to copy my quick save. No, oh. copy. Okay, so if this doesn't work out, will it break? In I don't think it'll break in two, but I think this thing is in trouble. That's that. That's that. Okay. So, and this thing is rotating. Crikey. Well, I don't need this thing anymore. Um, what should I do here? I think what I'm going to do, actually, is get my crew, get one of my dudes from this and have him jump in. Oh, where is he? There he is there. Gonna let go. Right, where's the spacecraft that I'm looking for? Now that's the that's just the thing. Where's the one that has the That's the one that has the plane, right? So the plane is the one that needs to have a pilot. It totally does not work as an autonomous spacecraft. The Chuck Norris I, I'm not like I'm not a great pilot, that's the thing. I just happen to know a bunch of interesting stuff. Okay. So this thing should at least have some uh, some control, right? And the idea is, at least this one, I can adjust its landing position. Yeah, at this point, I have backed up my quick save. Whatever happens... <laughs> I've got my EVA lights on. See that? The glow there? So this one I should be able to pop onto a higher orbit, whereas I don't know if I can do the same with the the lander. Okay, and the only, only problem is I don't know how much uh, life support this thing has. So I might have to get it into a relatively fast landing. Okay, so he's going to get in there. Oh, come on. F board. Come on, get in, get in, get in. There we go. Okay, so it does actually have these things. And I should be able to fold out the wings. Uh, nope, fold out the wings. Let's just turn it around so you can see it. This was what I was transporting, huh? Totally fit, fitted inside my, um, inside the fairing. That thing is just rotating faster and faster. I'm not happy with that. Okay, so with this one, I guess what we need to do... Oh, man, I don't want to have them all aerobraking at exactly the same time. I, I, But I'm going to have to do something like that. How, how much life support do I have? I have one day of life support, so this one is screwed, basically. This spacecraft is still trying to arrest its spin. I think it has, like, a something on it somewhere I could probably just uh, oh yeah I can probably just do this right yeah oh there we go aha there we go without that it's able to control its spin a little better this one at least has a probe involved somewhere so it doesn't need to have a crew unfortunately it was supposed to have a parachute ah but I can totally fix a parachute on there okay so get back to this thing needs to stop spinning. This is a really bad plan here. Uh, okay. Apparently this has got something going on that's not great. Why can't I... Ah, there we go. Archibald! We need you to do some repairs. Isn't it great when all this stuff, like, actually happens for legit? It's funny re re trying to recover from failures. I do have, yes, I do have, like, emergency versions if I need them. Okay, so we can grab this parachute and we can fix it to that car because it wasn't really supposed to land like that. Uh, grab. There, we got a parachute. Now, where is... Where's the spacecraft that we're looking for? 
everything's dark. Well, maybe if I come from this side. Do do no ship debris. That's the space plane. I think that might be it. You know what I need to do actually, is switch to the spacecraft, and rename it. There, so I can rename this spacecraft. Uh, if I can find the command pod. Where is the command pod? There it is there. Rename vessel. Um, rover. And we'll actually make this a rover. Okay. So now I should be able to switch, 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 switch. And we should probably name this the um, rename vessel. Rename aircraft. Okay, and finally, yes, so he's looking for the aircraft. Debris. 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 Come on, where's this rover? Can I, can't you be somewhere nearby? Guys make it so hard sometimes, that's, that's the sp aircraft. Oh, there it is, there, okay. It was like just hiding up there. I I don't like the way this dude is like burning EVA propellant all the time. I'm I'm kind of concerned about his backpack maybe not running out of fuel at this rate. And maybe if I turn the, the this off and then turn it back on, he'll become a little more stable. Uh, what happened was we had, um, we had a minor problem with the physics engine and time acceleration and my spacecraft spontaneously disintegrated. So I'm going to try and get up to this here. I think having, having this on his back is making him unstable. I'm really concerned that he's going to run out of EVA fuel. Uh, like by trying to maneuver... Is, this is terrible. Oh, man. Man. No, 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 no. Yeah, whatever. Okay. At least I'm moving towards it. If I can get there without running out of fuel, it should be okay, right? So I'm just going to keep turning off my jetpack and then hoping that I move towards it. Just a minor problem, indeed. Nothing too serious. <laughs> uh, the here, so the biggest problem is going to be that I want to put all my spacecraft relatively close to each other, and if they aren't close to each other, it's entirely possible that the crew dies. <laughs> like that's it. If the rover ends up nowhere near, then it's actually not a problem. So the rover has a solar power. It has it's going to have a parachute, and it has a a little probe body on it. So we should be <laughs> like I love this guy. He's just like spinning around here. Totally, everything is nominal. Can we do an EVA report for him? What's he thinking? It feels. Very much like it did back inside the ship, let yet succinctly more outdoorsy. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear! I'm drink. I'm sorry. I'm just drinking soda because I need to do a lot of driving later. No, nobody is expendable. The only people that are expendable are people that make bad jokes. Normal, nominal. Of course I could okay, let's let's try going this way towards the target and then turn off my thing again. Definitely moving very slowly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is in trouble here. What is going on is we've had a spontaneous unplanned disassembly. And my aircraft, everything is ha going to have to land in the wrong order, basically. Because we have a limited amount of life support. 
So actually, yeah, the rover... I'm just trying to think what I should do. The rover I'm going to put into a safe orbit because it doesn't need to land now. The... Damn, I'm just really thinking. The aircraft has one day of life support, so it needs to land. The crew on the, the ship needs to uh, somehow figure out what it's doing. Okay. Oh, he's kind of flying. It's it, like this thing on his back is messing up his center of mass. That's the problem. Oh, and I don't. I could use time acceleration, but I think that would just make things more terrible. But at least I'm not burning EVA fuel as fast as I I want. Okay, let's do this. Let's kill our try pushing our vertical velocity down sideways. Oh. That's the problem. So here's the thing. What I want to know is... If I... Uh... Oh man, how do I stop his rotation like this? Okay, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the forward rotation. I can go forward. Forwards actually seems pretty reliable. Okay, so actually, I think I can totally fly this. I'm just really concerned about running out of EVA fuel on this mission. This. Okay, I'm going to burn this way a little. Come on. Okay, 3.14 of EVA left. And the thing is, I'm going to have to kill, stop this velocity as well. So if, if see, going forwards actually seems to be more reliable in terms of There's the rover there, 70 meters away. I'm almost down to... Uh, I'm down to 2.92 units of fuel. I think, given that I'm getting relatively close, it's just the hard part is going to be getting close enough for long enough that I can attach it. But honestly, I can, I can attach it anywhere. And then once I've attached it, I can stabilize my motion and... Oh, I can get inside it. I can refuel my, my backpack. So all I need to do is get close enough. And then if I have to drop it, I can. Okay, so I totally know what I'm doing here. Alarm time. Do not express yes. Delete on close. Close alarm. Okay. And then down a little. Look at this. So once he gets there, if, if necessary, I can drop this. And... Oh, like he's totally coming. Okay, so what I need to do is attach it, right? Yes! <laughs> Excellent! Beautiful! That is so beautiful. Okay, so that at least... It's that, that should at least get us home. Although, here's the, the downside. The downside is that it's using... We now have the new parachute parameters. So, I'm going to get inside this for a minute. Just to refuel and everything. Okay. Come on. Where, where is this? Where's where's the... It, are there steps there? Ah, oh, for God's sake. It must, I, must, I guess I have to get in the other side. <sighs> Who designed this thing? Can't you put ladders on both sides? There, get in there and get in. Okay, so I just want to see, can I? Yeah, you see, I can't adjust this. So the parameters this is going to use are completely bogus. Okay, so I'm going to EVA out of here. Why are the wheels spinning? Magic, that's why. Okay. Okay. 
So now I gotta fly back to my spacecraft. Can anyone see where it is? There it is there. The Duna Express. All the way over there. It's mostly below me. Look, we've gone a long way. I was so happy with the way that that worked. Of course, we still don't know whether we're going to survive this or not, but, you know, it's... Uh, you know, Kerbal Space Program works best when you have a little bit of adversity. <sighs> okay. Leaving the rover behind. Okay, yeah, I gotta go faster. Because you guys don't want to wait around forever, do you? Um, lights on. So the aircraft... Okay, so the Duna Express is going to go... Ah, shoot. I guess the aircraft could actually... No, no, no. Yeah, the aircraft could slow its orbit down more. Right? That's that's my plan. So the aircraft will actually make sure it arrives at Duna a long time after the main ship. Uh, that way... What's the downside of putting too much life support... You, well, so a paint cannon, the downside of life support is that it does actually add mass. And I actually had a problem earlier with a spacecraft that had too much mass because of the life support. And I realized that I should have just dumped the life support. And instead I got everyone stranded in space. Okay. I should just time accelerate here. That would actually be a little better, but it was much more fun. I, I didn't want to time accelerate when I had that parachute on my back because it it would have felt like cheating. Okay, slow down to regular speed. At least because we're so high up in our orbit, we're not going to miss things going on. We're you know the we're not dealing with with effects due to rotation. Okay, so. Oh, we had just background shoot. How many hours do I have? I don't know, but here's the thing. I don't play it on, on Steam, so I don't. it doesn't matter. I, I probably, I mean, I'll, to, be, to be fair, I play Kerbal Space Program a lot because people ask for it and because there's a lot of people that are terrible at Kerbal Space Program that I feel I need to you know, explain to them. Uh, at least one Kerbal, yes, this guy on the the aircraft, he has only one day worth of life support. So he has, we have to get him down. That aircraft also cannot dock anymore because it's damaged. Uh, it or at least it's it has it yeah, it's no gear for docking, so it's in trouble. I I mean, this is where I'm like, oh, I wish there was some way that we could put we could move life support between vehicles that would actually help us a great deal here there's no Kerbal attachment support for oh oh apparently I'm I've changed my orbit sufficiently that the game thinks I'm in some other position okay that's really con confusing camera system <laughs> yeah you know what Comparing number of hours spent in a game as a, you know, measure of quality is utter crap. I see people, like, tweeting because they're using, uh, what is it, a Rapture or Rupture or whatever, and they're all tweeting out, I'm elite at Kerbal Space Programs. Like, no, you're not. You're a moron. <laughs> like, if you need to be having measuring the time played as a an example of your skill set, I'm sorry. You, you know, you measure it through actually doing things. And I don't doubt there are people that are pretty awesome that have lots of hours in the game, but... Uh, you know, the people that are really good are like Abyssal Lurker, who can take some crazy ideas and do amazing things. There we go. Coming in a little fast. If you ever do... Can you, instead of doing series, do specific aspects? Ah... Uh, Well, I can. I'm not really... I, I don't really have time to do tutorials. That's why I kind of was just like, I'll just start playing the game and see what people, what I can teach. Uh, and that's why I ended up doing that, like, 13 hours worth of EVE tutorials. 
And then I realized that I was still missing a lot and I wasn't really covering a lot of stuff because I didn't catch all the features I needed. Okay, here we go. Getting in close. I guess he can sit in the command pod because we're not going to be doing any more science anymore. And I guess that also means that my plan to visit, um, what's its face, to visit Ike first is gone. It cannot happen. Uh, so, okay. So where is... Where's the space? Ah, oh, there it is, there. I should probably ditch that middle section now, because we really have no need for it. Okay. So, where are we? Where is the... Where are the ladders, darn it? They must be around here. Ah, uh, timestamp. Just timestamp the videos. Yeah, yeah, my wife could drop by at any moment and we'll have to go. So I'm just, you know, playing this through because I figured you might be interested in seeing just what sort of stuff happens. I may still turn this into a simulation because, boy, that there's a lot of things going on here that I'm not happy with. Okay, I'm going to save the game there. So, okay, so now evaluate what's going to happen. Uh, we have a mul all, uh, multiple objects all moving at different speeds. The one I really need to be concerned about is the aircraft. What is it doing? It's going to come down at 34, so it needs to actually come down faster. So what I'm going to do... Oh, who is this? Hold. Um, I might have to... I'm not going to... Uh... No, that's just my phone. Don't worry. Okay, so I'm going to use the engines on this to lower my orbit. Right, and we do actually have RCS, so I can use these, thankfully. I just don't have... Do I have the parachutes on the back? I guess I do. Okay. So this, what we're going to do is lower my periaps. Oh, no. Lower my periaps. And hopefully means I'll get there faster, right? That's the plan. By pointing downwards and accelerating, I should be lowering my periaps, which means I should get there hours. Wait, what? Why is it going upwards? That's, that's not making sense. That should be going downwards. I should be getting there faster. Okay. Well, I'll fix that. Yeah, I'm going to try and get there. So it's going to take 10 hours to get down there. Yeah, that was a cat. Yeah, my idea is that I'm going to accelerate towards the planet because I want to get him down as quickly as possible. Yeah, it is getting higher. What I'm going to do is just... I'm trying to burn up as much fuel as I can here. And yeah, now it's now it's working. Maybe I was pushing the wrong button. But the idea is that he should get there before everyone else, and if the other spacecraft then can perform their aero braking, and hopefully I can land these things relatively close to each other. That's the plan. <laughs> uh, 36. But see, my original plan was to put the... Oh, you know what? You know what? I've I have a better plan. I have a much better plan. Okay. So now... I, I have to get... I, I'm, I'm reversing. I'm changing my mind. I have tons of monopropellant, so this, is, this should be okay here. I'm uh, going to actually... <sighs> okay. Mm. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Okay, so first thing, actually, what I'm going to do is lower my periaps, because I need to absolutely make sure I get captured here, right? So... We're going to slow him. D why Why is my... Pe I'm not getting this. I think the thing must be pointing backwards. It, wait a second. Is What way is this rotating? That's 21 hours. Okay, I just don't get what's going on here. Okay, so never mind. 10 kilometers. That should let him enter the atmosphere, right? And that should let him capture. Now... Okay, next plan 
is I gotta find the rover. The rover needs to adjust its orbit. Now the rover has these little engines here, so we should be able to use those. Activate engine. But the only problem is, I don't know what way I'm gonna go. But I guess if that, hold on, is that control from here? Actually control from here, right? So I need to point along the orbit. And then I need to, nope. I need to go like that. So we'll put this into a parking orbit. So these things should lift my orbit up, hopefully. Are we ready? Nope. Everything's backwards or something. What's going on here? Did I fire these engines? Yeah, okay, those engines did fire, but... I'm not getting what is going on here. I'm pointing my engines downwards. Okay. Oh, man. Not what I want to have happen. It's not what I want to have happen. Oh, okay, that seems to work. i got to raise my periaps up high enough that I'm not going to go uh, into the atmosphere on this rotation. But the problem is, the, the, the angle I'm seeing this on is not the angle which the vehicle is going to move along. Okay, so this thing can remain in a parking orbit, right? Next. Next we have this spacecraft. Okay, so... Um, first of all, I have this module here, which I should probably transfer all the fuel... What did I just hit? I hit a space bar there. And deploy some parachutes or something, no? I don't... I, stage lock needs to be enabled, damn it. I don't like the way it cancels stage lock between things. Okay, so we're going to transfer fuel out of this. There we go. And I probably should ditch this. Is there any control on it? I don't want it on here, basically. I'm going to undock that, and it'll just float away, hopefully. Now this... Um, now this, we want it to come down faster, right? And so it's actually on a higher orbit. It's going to take 11 hours, but we want it to get there much faster. So, welcome to another rotation. We're going to rotate this and point it more or less towards the ground, right? So I'm going to control from here. Um, I'm going to have to point it straight down. And this thing is going to be really fun to rotate again. Yes, yeah, stage lock is something that you should always have on in deep space. I have no idea what I just staged, but I could find that my spacecraft falls apart. Which would, of course, be incredibly hilarious, right? I mean, <laughs> just in case you're wondering, look, we are in fact rotating. We're rotating away from this very slowly. I'm trying to go down and point towards Duna here. So I'm going to burn towards Duna. And the idea being that uh, we will get there a couple of hours before the, the plane. And that way the lander should already be on the surface safely. And, Arch and our pilot will actually have a place to try and aim for to land at. Because if he can't get there, he's going to be in serious trouble. <sighs> See, this is this is why Interstellar Quest takes so darn long. Because of things like this. And dare I time accelerate again? <laughs> oh dear, this is going to be fun. So yeah, maybe I can... Hey, hey, race car driver, is your name Johnny? You know, Johnny was a race car driver. You think I might be backwards? I'm pointing... Oh, no, I think I'm pointing the right way. I, I'm not sure about the rotation. It's getting... It's very frustrating. Ah, you know... 
This is the problem. Now I figure it out. I was in surface mode. That's what was going on. I was like adjusting my... I was adjusting everything and that was what was going on. Oh, what a moron. Okay. So that was why I was adjusting the orbit of the... Um, of the the plane or the, the, the rover and I thought I was pointing backwards when I was in fact pointing forwards. <sighs> okay, so... Now... Now we're pointing in roughly the right direction. Let's start burning our engines. There we go. See that? Engines are burning. And so what we want to do is make our time of periaps much, much sooner. So this will raise our apple apps. Uh, hopefully, it won't destroy us. And so once we've got this um, arriving maybe in, I don't know, nine hours. Nine hours is a good one. So that should give us an hour to land. Then hopefully we can adjust the orbit of our aircraft and then get it. Okay, so there we go. Fire up our engines, full thrust. So, see what we're doing here? Oh yeah, look at that. Leaving everything behind. And our, our uh, periaps is actually dropping, which is good. We want it to go down to about 10 kilometers because that's where the that's where the atmosphere will really catch us, right? Once we've got it down to 10 kilometers, then we're going to detach the whole lander package. And then it should be a whole lot easier to, like, move my spacecraft. Okay, 9, 10. Okay, that's us. We should get there in 10 hours. Okay. Everything looking fairly solid. And this is rotating really... F oh, the camera's rotating fast. Okay, so... Stability control turned on again. And let's actually just check with the... Um, okay, so my moon spacecraft... My uh, aircraft is now no longer within two kilometers. There's the rover, there's the ship, there's the aircraft. Switch to, so I wanna see, it's gonna get there when it's gonna get there. Fly into the danger zone. You're absolutely right, this is complete danger zone. 10 hours and 12 minutes. Um, so that's actually still gonna get there ahead of the rover. So I need to point my spacecraft the right way. So we're pointed towards... Where are we pointed towards? Okay, so we're going to point it towards Duna again. Hopefully. There's Duna. And I'm going to reverse my engines a little. Because I want my time of pe uh, periaps to go upwards. Brilliant, huh? And then the trick is going to be to try and land the lander, aero break the main spacecraft, and somewhere along the line, you know, we'll try and adjust our, we'll try and make sure we get the, and then put the, the, the spacecraft, the, the aircraft, down close enough to the lander that the crew is going to be okay. <laughs> So this is not the way I intended things to happen. Okay, so that should be enough time. Now, the only thing is, we've also got periaps that are just too low, so we now need to point along our thing and start firing our engines a little. Okay, so start firing our engines to go along it and bring it up to about 8 kilometers. I'm going to save. So 11 hours, 46 minutes. We should be fine on that. Uh, do not express ship, do not express rover. This is the one, right? No, apparently it's not letting me change. Yes, that's great. This is what happens. Go back to the space center then. I... <laughs> Oh uh, dear, I I wish... How how did Pathfinder lithobraking work? It looks like... Yeah, Pathfinder... Okay. Oh man, this is just... This is just harsh. 
Okay, Duna Express, where are you? Duna Express ship. Is this the one? This will be the one because it has a control on it. <laughs> you guys with your facts. Wait, that's not my spacecraft. Where's my spacecraft? Okay, that's not the one that I wanted. Switch to. Okay. Now hopefully nothing will break on this either. <laughs> Actually, I do just realized I do have something alcoholic. I've got there's some tequila in this. So, that'll maybe calm my nerves a little. Okay. Let's see where this is. I'm not sure I'm going to have time for FTL. I I have this really um scary situation that I want to deal with. Okay, here is my spacecraft. Floating all alone in the night. Time to periapse is 10 hours. There we go. So, now we have our lander on its landing trajectory. The obvious next thing to do is to finally ditch some of this mass, right? We don't need this anymore. Um... Undock. Oh, there we go. That is my lander. And we should have some... Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do RCS here. There we go. Hopefully. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're separating ever so slowly from the actual lander piece. And I'm going to have to adjust my orbit again. But thankfully, this thing should be a lot easier to steer. This one, meanwhile... Uh, I'm going to ditch this eventually. I just don't want... I want it to come down into the atmosphere with me. Okay. So we don't need RCS for this. Uh, I, oh. oh what? Have, I'm, am I in chase cam mode? There we go. Okay. Very confusing. Why, why is my camera rotation not working? Thank God. Okay. So... I guess I can just leave this in space... This is going to be the ha to have to be the one that lands. I'm just trying to think. What is this? Oh, I'm not sure what that is, but I don't like the the sign of it. So I'm going to make sure. All okay. I'm going to move all the engines onto one stage because we need our engines to fire. We need all our parachutes to come online as well. We so those will be in another stage, and I've no idea what that staging thing is. So I'm not going to use it because that would be hugely dangerous okay so can anyone see can anybody see there see what this staging thing is is it that's surely not a stage nope why what what will happen if i hit space here i don't want to hit space well uh it doesn't matter oh look i can deploy the i can optimistically deploy the landing gear look at that isn't this beautiful? Don't you love the way that I I arranged this whole thing so that all the landing gear comes together when it's all docked? It's pretty darn beautiful if you ask me. Okay, so this... Oh, there's the doggy. That's probably Amy coming home. And, and my camera does not want to rotate anymore. Either that or it's the Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, control from here. So I want to point along the orbit. This takes so long. Efficiency be damned. I'm trying to get this thing to fly and not die. So what I need to do is raise the periaps in this because this does not want to be going and this does not want to be landing just yet either. They have... Plenty of... Oh, that's right, there is... No, that's surely not the decoupler, is it? Well, maybe... I d you're right, there was one on the bottom, on the edge of that. But I thought that was from something else. Okay, so this now... Is going to start burning. I'm just going to try and get its engines, fire its engines, and we'll move it. Okay, so... 
the, oh no, that is still bringing the periaps down. I want the periaps to go up. Yeah, I thought that was left over from the space shuttle launch. Do you remember? I thought I thought it might have been left over from the the shuttle launch. There we go. This thing maneuvers so much better now that I've lost all that stuff. Ah, uh, so so much for my plan to visit Ike. So we There we go. Fire engines. There, we're leaving that behind for now. Don't crash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 70 kilometers should be enough. Okay, so that's that two of the ships taken care of. Uh, so we have the lander. I think it's time to hit a quick save. Did I activate... Wait, wait, I created a stage for these things. Why didn't it do that? Yeah, let's see if this is the, the um, decoupler. No, it, right clicking on it doesn't do anything. It's just still in there for some reason. I think it's a spent decoupler from the the rest of the thing. Okay, so again, we want to put rockets, have our rockets activated. And hit space. Okay, I'm going to save this now. Okay, this is really odd. Oh yeah, stage lock is on. Come on, stage lock. Disable stage lock. Thank you. Rockets are, e are enabled. Uh, we are going down. Okay, so hopefully nothing should die anymore. <sighs> this is not what I had planned. <laughs> the place. Sochi. Yeah, Sochi is where the Winter Olympics are going to be. Or they are happening. Anybody watching them? Okay. So here we go. That's the Duna Express sh ship. That's that's the bit. That's the main Duna Express. Uh, they are the aircraft. So the aircraft is lagging behind. That is the plan. Uh, that's the rover. All, not all of these things will make it in one piece. And at this point, I might engage simulation mode, right? Which is what I'm going to do is hit the quick save button. Okay, are we ready? Let's uh, let's hit that quick save. Because you know what? I've I've had enough random failures for this mission. I think this is uh, this is my random failure of choice. So before I get too close in, I'm going to jettison the remaining parts. Undock. And there's an undock here. There we go. Oh, that one's going to be moving at quite some speed. Oh, but we need to switch back control to the parent object. <sighs> Who thinks this is going to land? Okay. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Am I rec I'm recording to I'm recording two things. So this this might just be the extended episode of what happens during landing. Uh, you know what? I think I, I think I placed these legs in the wrong way. That's unfortunate. Well, let's see what happens. God, this is tense. This is so intense. Okay, so, tell you, 10 times warp. And 40 kilometers up, we are now in the atmosphere. Okay, so I need to figure out my orientation, right? Oh, this is not looking too good. Okay. Okay, so now this is a point of no return. Let's get a nice camera angle on this. Okay. Now, 
When do I deploy these parachutes? Actually, I probably want to deploy these parachutes. Huh? See, here's the thing. I fitted these parachutes uh, before I was... Like, I fitted these parachutes before I installed real shoots. So now these parachutes are lousy. Oh, here's another thing to check. Do I have enough? I have plenty of electric charge right now. Okay, so now we're going to do some aero braking. And let's see how what it says. We're still going to fly over the surface, 8 kilometers up. There's the other piece going to fly in. 4 times time acceleration. At least we have plenty of food. Oh, I hope this doesn't have all the life support with us, because that would be really embarrassing. Let the structural integrity... Oh, 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 wait a second. No, 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 no. I could see something happening here. So, uh, time to deploy those shoots, I think. I said time to deploy those shoots. Okay, so much for deploying those shoots. Um says, is it deployed yet? Okay, you know what? Deploy. Okay, they are deployed. Either, or something's going on here. What is going on? Why is this not deploying? Deploy! Deploy! Why does it not say they're deployed? I'm confused. This is what happens when you switch. This is what happens when you switch to a mod that's like... Rubbish. Is it armed even? Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's just arm all the parachutes because apparently real shoot does not like it when you change mods halfway through. I'm probably blowing up my ship at this rate. Oh look, we're finally getting parachutes. Okay. Arm. Uh. Ah, no, 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 no. I do not want to cut that shoot. Arm. I don't want to get shoots on this side. Yeah, thanks, real shoot. You know, that was a really good idea. You kept on commenting in my videos saying, Hey, you should really use this real shoot mod. Well, you know what? You hadn't developed your real shoot mod when I was doing this. So now you may have doomed the mission. Oh dear! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Okay, you know what? We're gonna fire these engines. No! Crap. Not good, not good, not good. Oh wow, this is I actually work. Uh oh. Hey, it survived. <laughs> Look, it's totally functional. That's brilliant. Maybe I <laughs> I'm not sure what I can do about this, but I don't th as long as it doesn't spontaneously explode, it'll be fine. There. That is a landing to remember. Um, I'm going to save that. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, Stupid Chris, this is your fault. I'm going to dedicate this base to Stupid Chris. Uh, but, meanwhile, we have to get back to our aeroplane. Duna Express... Duna Express ship. Um, let's just check. Duna Express aircraft. Switch to. <laughs> oh, dear, 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 dear. Okay. So now... No, okay. So this thing... It did have parachutes, but apparently... Have we got parachutes on this? I had parachutes on this, but I guess I must have loaded a different version. Either that or they spontaneously fell off. Well, okay. We're going down. I, 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 oh, that's an idea. Can you move the landing legs with Kerbal Attachment System? Maybe we can do that. But right now, I am going to try landing this. 
how are we doing in terms of uh, fuel and everything? Okay. He's he's down to 50%. This is either... This is going to be one of the most epic landings if it actually works. Okay, so I'm just checking. We have... We have this decoupler here, right? So what I'm going to do is try to use as much thrust from this as I can for slowing down. Right? And it's five kilometers up. Okay. So here we go. Did anyone see the altitude of this base? This time no parachutes. Yeah. I was just like, I was so certain that thing was going to flip the wrong way over. And then, you know what? I could have landed it straight down, but I had um, uh, SAS enabled. And what that did was the, the gimbal, the whatever, the reaction wheels went and forced my thing to point the wrong way. Okay, so now we've got the wings unfolded. I'm going to start burning my... I'm going to actually start burning my thing like this, right? And that should adjust my periaps up. Okay, so here it is. I need to actually raise my periaps quite a bit. And I need to go sideways. So I'm trying... I'm burning RCS fuel... Hoping that it... Oh, wow, yeah, that will not... That encounter will not happen. All the same, I need to adjust my orbit so that I come down over the, where I'm going. Ugh. That's, I can't answer that right now. I can't answer that right now. Okay. So here's the thing, right? The target that I'm trying to go to is over that way. No, nope. the target that I'm trying to go to is over that way. So if I burn like this, then I should slow down and everything else at the same time. I have a limited amount of time in which to do this. Actually, one thing that might help is if I do this, if I point the rocket this way. Oh, there we go. So by pointing it this way, then at least when I hit the atmosphere, it should slow my slow me down a little. Here's me pressing all three keys at once, because I want to kind of go up that way. <laughs> Have I ever been able... So what? You know, someone was asking about transferring... Uh, getting sound from Mars. And they have actually tried to send... Get sound from Mars several times. And they've kept on messing it up. It's just they've had really bad luck with their microphones and stuff. I'm speeding up because I'm falling under the force of gravity, but that's okay. I'm just trying to ditch as much of this thing as possible. Alexander, it would make your day hello! Uh, so I'm just trying to ditch as much of this monopropellant as I can. There we go. Just trying to move my orbit over just a little, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to travel this huge distance. Once I'm inside the atmosphere, it will probably be good if I can ditch this uh, large thing. Chris, yeah, well, stupid Chris, as I said, he is oh, well named. <laughs> he caused me all sorts of stress there. Uh, you, so, yeah, the main thing is with the, the real shoot mod is, you know, there needs to be a way to retrofit the functionality on existing shoot shoots, right? Because I launched that spacecraft well before, therefore, and I couldn't adjust any of the parameters. So suddenly my parameters became useless and you know, annoying. <laughs> okay, we're down to 50% monopropellant. No, the sounds... So Voyager, uh, that's not really sounds. Okay, is it, yes, we're quick saving again. Okay. Uh, because the the main reason be, what they were doing with Voyager was they were listening to oh shoot that's not good what is my periaps my periaps is too low I need to get up again I'm doing that I'm gonna go up like this I'm trying to make my thing not crash into the surface here and I'm falling through the atmosphere. So I'm, I'm sl flattening out my trajectory. Bringing it up high enough. And you see, by using my RCS, I have in fact managed to put myself 
much closer to where my thing actually is. So at this point, I'm now raising my periaps, uh, hopefully high enough that we'll, we'll fly over to where our spacecraft is. Okay, so that's looking pretty good if you ask me, except for the camera angle. What, what makes it think that's a good camera angle? Okay. Oh yeah, here's a great thing. My, my wings are not correctly calibrated. <laughs> Let's just fold these all the way the other direction. Actually, can I... Maybe that'll work. If I fold them all the way forward, will they work? Yeah, I don't know what's happened here, but apparently my... Uh, yeah, apparently damned robotics has got confused, so I'm flying a, an aircraft which isn't quite point shaped the correct way. Ah, oh, the hilarity of the situation. <laughs> uh, you know, you know what? I actually, I'm realizing um, I'm probably gonna have to ditch this. I'm probably gonna have to ditch this thing sooner rather than later, because. This thing is going to be aerodynamically unstable. So I'm just going to ditch that and ditch that. Okay. So now we're flying. Oh, wow. Do you see that? It totally caught the air and it smacked into it. Okay. So now we are flying. Isn't this beautiful? I just wonder if we're going to be able to get to the place that we're actually planning to go. Now this thing is horrendously unstable. Uh, yeah, maybe it's be they've been warped from being folded up inside the spacecraft for too long. I have an air brake as well, incidentally. I wonder if I can start taking atmospheric science yet. Uh, log gravity data? Ah, uh, we've already got that. Reset the experiment. I was hoping I'd be able to do some atmospheric science, but not yet. Not low enough. And, uh, yeah, notice no parachute on this. I am totally doomed. <laughs> and, oh, right, so now, now we are actually, now I've got to lift my nose up here because you see that we're going to fall short. So I'm actually trying to lift my nose up so that I actually fly closer to this thing. Or wait a second. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Hold on. No, I'm conf... I'm... Oh, this is the wrong one. This is the wrong one. Okay, now I actually need to lower my periats. Lower my nose. Okay, yeah, so we're still going to reach the lowest point uh, very soon. So I'm actually using the aerodynamics to bring my nose down lower and lower, hoping that I will be able to slow down sufficiently. There we go. So have we caught sight of my target yet? Oh, man. I need to get lower. And of course, there's no, you know, I'm trying to fly. Ah, there we go. There's the spacecraft there. So I'm going to try slowing this thing down a little in the thin atmosphere of Duna. Uh, the only thing I've noticed is that this is actually quite high up, so it's entirely like possible. It's entirely likely and indeed possible that I can't land it at the speed I intended because the there's not there's too much atmosphere. Okay, so once again, lifting the nose up because okay, so we are committed. Our Apple apps is inside the atmosphere. And I guess I also have an air brake I can deploy. Look at that. That's that's another part of the spacecraft. It's ballistic. It's continuing on a ballistic trajectory. This is so awesome. This is this is way better than I thought it would actually happen. Uh, as in, I thought it would be utterly terrible, and I would die. I can innate engage my engine as well. Let's probably turn that on. Uh, activate the engine. Can I do atmosphere sensor? Oh, I can run atmosphere analysis. Excellent. Keep that data. Can I do um, crew reports? And it says you begin to doodle. Yes, let's keep that. What else? Can I collect temperature? Keep. 
pressure, keep, um, temperature, oh no, cancel, um, log gravity data. Oh, I can't do gravity. Wait, I could do gravity, but not, no, okay, that's confusing. Okay, so we're really, we're, we're almost, this is good. This is pretty good. This is where I should probably bring out my ferrum, um, flight data here so I can actually see what's going on. Okay, so now actually I can probably start using my aero brakes. I'm totally using my aero brakes. Okay, so we go deploy the landing gear, brakes open. And this is where I have to, I'm trying to slow down sufficiently fast. This is the hard part. As long as he's within walking distance, we should be okay. That's the thing. Oh, it looks like there's actually some debris down there. I wonder what's, what the debris is. Something must have fell off when we landed. Color me unsurprised. Gear down. There we go. There's the landing gear. So this only has fore and aft landing gear. It does not have... Uh, anything on the wingtips. The idea was that we would be able to fly around and collect science data and things like that later. But obviously, we're perhaps abandoning that notion right now. Okay, so I'm now... Oh, large-scale stall detected. Let's try... Let's try... I think I'm going to actually need to start firing this engine to get some control back now. Clearly, I overshot a little. And I'm going to need to see my resources here. Not much in the way of fuel this thing has. I had thought about flying like a little reactor and thermal turbojet. <sighs> Look, the danger is here, like, I'm really, I am concerned that he won't make it down alive. The problem is we're about five kilometers above the surface here. And with that, oh, minor stalling is detected. The danger is that we can't fly as slow as we like because um, the danger is we can't fly yeah, nearly as slow as we like because we're too high up. Oh, dear. Okay. See, I'm trying to fly, but now I need to... Uh... There, there we go. Sorry, I had to actually ban somebody because I was being told that he was not being nice. And not being nice is not what I want. Boss Builder was being a dick. I'm sorry. And not the kind of dick that I like to hang out with, as in, you know, people that do funny things in games. Man, come on! This is really, really hard. Yeah, it is, actually. This is... Somebody point out the, the clouds. I... Like, I almost totally hadn't... I totally had forgot that I had the cloud thing installed. Okay. Oh, large-scale stall. So this... I, I will admit that to make this thing stable, I have got uh, a little one of the reaction wheels set up. So that that is actually helping me because the aerodynamics alone is not sufficient. Okay, look, here we go. Okay. Five point three kilometers out. Let's try using the air brakes a little. Oh dear 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 Apparently the air brakes aren't working particularly good. Oh wait, I'm in orbit mode. That's my problem. Surface mode. That's why I'm side slipping like a mofo. Okay, and the game is thinking. Okay. So here we go. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to zoom way out here. Now I have to keep it stable. That's the problem. Using the air brakes as best I can here. 
I have no idea how low I am. In fact, I'm going to be running uphill by the looks of things. Oh, st stall, 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 stall. No, 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 no. Okay, well, I guess I can forget about uh, flying this anywhere else. <laughs> yes, this is what happens when you have a reaction wheel installed. Oh! <laughs> Not what I intended! It's a... <laughs> oh dear. So, what should we call that? A simulation then? That was that was so awesome, but it's a simulation, and it's actually time I have to go.